So everybody, this is Beezer, and welcome to our first of many, hopefully, Kid Corner videos. So this video is basically geared at anybody that's starting new. I call it Kid's Corner, but it's really for anybody that's uh, interested in intro to guitar. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about the guitar itself. So the anatomy of a guitar. So we are... Uh, playing on six strings on this guitar. There are seven string guitars, but this one is a six string. Most of them are six string. All right. The strings have names. This is the E string. This one, right? The A string. The D string. The G string. The B string. And the E string. So there's two E strings. A big E string and a little E string, right? Big on the top. Little on the bottom. Okay, so a good way to remember uh, what strings are called what is every album does good by Elvis. Every album does good by Elvis. So that is E, A, D, G, B, and E, right? So that's the strings. So with that in mind, let's tune up. The little E string. Tune your guitar to match that. The B string. The G string. The D string. The A string. And finally, the big E string. Okay, now that we're tuned up, let's talk about the other parts of the guitar. We're going to talk about a lot about frets. The frets are these metal pieces that you see going perpendicular to the strings, right? That's the first fret, the second fret, the third fret, the fourth fret, and the fifth fret, right? And it goes all the way up to the 12th fret, all the way up to however many frets you happen to have on your guitar. Many guitars have 21, some have up to 24. I'm sure there are some that have more than 24, but those are the frets. So when I talk about the E string on the 12th fret, or more, more appropriately, the E string on the third fret, I'm either talking about that E string on the third fret or that E string on the third fret. So, depending on the context, you'll know which one to go to. All right, so this piece here is the, uh, that's called the nut, right? And that's basically where the string uh, vibrates when it's open. Right? Open means you're not fretting it anywhere else on the string. That's called open. Right? Down here on the opposite end, if you'll look down here, the this is called the bridge. Right? So this is the... Well, if I say move toward the bridge, you'll move closer to the bridge. If I say move toward the nut, you'll move closer to the opposite end. This is called the peg head. These are the tuning machines, and this is how you tune your guitar. So that's the major components of the guitar that we're going to talk about uh, today. So what we're going to get into is the first chord that we're going to work with, and that's the chord of G. 
right? And there are several different ways to make that G, but I'm going to show you the most common way. Take your ring finger and put it on your little E string on the third fret. And when I say put it on the third fret, what I really mean is to put it toward the nut of the third fret. So you want it slightly behind the third fret. Right. So if it's right on top, it's going to it's going to buzz and mute out and you're going to have a hard time making that note clear. So put it toward the remember, this is the nut. Put it toward the nut on the third fret. Right. Take your index finger and put it on the second fret. And again, that's on the nut side of the second fret. And then take your middle finger and put it on the big E string third fret nut side. So. Now you can play all six strings. Got that? All right. Again, ring finger, third fret, little E string. Index finger, second fret, A string. Middle finger, third fret, big E string. There you go. So there you go. Now, the next thing you want to do is make a C chord. To make a C chord, use your index finger on the B string, second fret, your um, middle finger on the D string, second fret, and then your th ring finger on the third fret of the A string. On this chord, you're going to not play the big E string. So play A, this string here, on down. And that's a C. Okay, so now we're going to go with one more chord, and that's the D chord. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your middle finger, put it on the second fret of the little E string. Take your index finger, put it on the second fret of the G string. Take your ring finger and put it on the third fret of the B string, right? And I want you to play from the D string down. Just like that. And that's the D chord. So let's go back to the G chord for just a moment. Take your ring finger on three on your E string, index finger on two on the A string, and then your middle finger on three on the big E string and strum that. All six, strum all six. Now, I'm using a Jim Dunlop pick. It's a one millimeter pick. Uh, I'll go into why I like these picks, but essentially use whatever pick you got and we'll talk about pick placement in a, in a future video. But for now, what I want you to do is I want you to pluck the top string and stop. So that's all you do right there. And then kind of rest the pick on the A string, which is the second string, right? So you see how it's rested there on that? And then after you've paused just a second, strum everything else. So to do that again, it's like this. Now when you come back up, I want you to hit the second string by itself, the A string, and let it rest on top of the D string. See how it's resting on top of the D string? And then strum the rest. And then repeat. When you do that, you got this. Okay, so that is the entirety of this video. We will get back with you and uh, do the next video very soon. So be ready for that. 
and practice your G, your C, and your D. And we'll talk about why those three chords are important together in a future video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.